Today on Amazing Dinosaurs, we are checking out all of my newest Jurassic World figures. I've got ones from Jurassic World Dominion and even sooner, like these dino trackers right here. So to start it off, let's check out these ginormous figures in the back. This is the Brachiosaurus figure from the new Jurassic World Dominion. It has the same shape and texturing as the older figure, but it has a different paint job, especially this painting right here. It's reflective blue. Over on the other side is an even more massive dinosaur. This is the Dreadnoughtus figure, and it is one of the biggest and longest figures I have. I mean, check out that length from the tail all the way to the head. Next up, I've got this huge Giganotosaurus figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. This figure is the same size as many of my T-Rex figures, or maybe even a little bit larger, and it's got a torso tear in action and a jaw chomping action. Speaking of T-Rexes, I've got a really cool one right here. This is the new Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Every single part of its body is poseable and adjustable, and I really like the face and the mouth. This next one is a super recent one. This is a gigantic Trackers Stegosaurus figure. I think it has much more realistic coloring than many of the other Stegosauruses that I have, and it comes with this awesome new backpack too. Next up is a slightly smaller dinosaur. I believe this one is called a Sinotyrannus. This one is also from the new Dino Tracker series. Check out that crazy looking headpiece that it comes with. Plus it has two action buttons for jaw chomping and for swinging the tail. Over here is a pretty evil looking dinosaur, I think. This is the Diabloceratops. It's pretty similar to a Triceratops, except it's got four huge horns on the top of its head and these hidden ones on the side of its head. And it's got sound effects, as you can hear. Here's another super new one that I think is also from the Dino Tracker series. This one, I believe, is called the Dryptosaurus. It's got poseable arms, legs, and a tail, and there's a lever you can press on its back for the roar sound effects. Now this is one gigantic dinosaur figure. This is a Pyroraptor, and this one's actually pretty special because it is battery operated and you can actually kind of train this dinosaur. Check it out, its eyes light up and it kind of has a personality of its own. You can tap it on the head here. You'll see that it'll respond to you. There's quite a few different modes that this toy can go into. I think this one right here is its feisty mode. Up next, we've got an Ampelosaurus figure, which is a pretty unusual looking dinosaur. It's got tons of spikes and a really long neck, and you can open and close the jaw with the button on its tail. This scary looking dinosaur is called a Yang Chuanosaurus, and it is also from Jurassic World Dominion. It has poseable arms, legs, and a tail, and you can actually use the tail to move the torso around and open and close the jaw. Back here, we've got a quite large Velociraptor. This one, I think, is Velociraptor Beta. And this one's pretty special because you can press down on its body for a chomping action. And you can push it side to side as if it's walking. Up next, we've got another dinosaur from the Dino Tracker series. This is a new Endoraptor figure. This is probably one of the larger Endoraptors that I have, and this one is battery powered, so it has some roar sound effects too. Over here, I've got a classic looking Stegosaurus. This one was released as part of Jurassic World Dominion. Plus, this figure actually came with a baby Stegosaurus, and that's pretty cool. Look how similar they are in the color. I've also recently gotten some Sound Surge figures from Jurassic World Dominion. This first one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Sound Surge. Over here is the Giganotosaurus Sound Surge figure. There's also the Carnotaurus Sound Surge figure. It's pretty plain in color, but it's got some sound effects. And finally, for the Sound Surge, I just got this new Indominus Rex figure. It still has some pretty awesome texturing and detailing, very much like the larger sized figures. And let's hear that sound effect. 
All right, let's check out these new figures now. This first one is the Geniodectes Cirrus from the Dino Tracker series. Now this figure's pretty small overall. It's got some tiny front arms and larger back legs, but it has some pretty cool coloring. It's got this yellow that runs all the way down its belly to its tail, along with the brown that's on its legs and on its back. And even though this figure is really small, it still has an action button for chomping the jaw. And our other brand new figure is the Herrerasaurus from the Dino Tracker series. This figure is also pretty small. It's got larger front arms and still the super large back legs. It's got three different colors on its body, the gray on the head, and then the bright orange and brown in the back. And this figure also has an action button for a head ramming action. This is pretty cool. I have some Herrera source figures from an older series like Camp Cretaceous, so it'll be interesting to see how different they are. On to the next one. This one is a Ceratosaurus figure from the Hammond collection. So this figure is super poseable on all parts of its body, and it has some pretty decent coloring as well. <laughs> This next one is also from the Hammond collection, and I bought this one super recently. This is a Triceratops figure. It's mostly a dark brown color, but you can see that there's little splotches and small details of different colors. This is probably one of the coolest Triceratops figures that I have. Over here, I've got an Iguanodon figure from the Jurassic World Dominion series. It's got posable front and back legs, and it has sound effects and a head ramming attack too. This is the Rajasaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the short front arms and the huge back legs, and it has a chomping action. And I've actually got another Rajasaurus from the same series, but they released it with different colors. So this is a very dark blue, and then some white, and some interesting purple spikes on the top of its head. You probably recognize this from Jurassic World Dominion. This is the Therizinosaurus dinosaur. It stands on its two back legs. It has these huge claws on its hands. And with this figure, you can use the tail to control the torso and for a chomping action. Oh, it looks like we've got another Triceratops figure in here. This is from Jurassic World Dominion as well. It's got a super bright color right on the front of its frill. And it comes with sound effects, as you can hear. Let's check out that head ramming action. This next figure is one of my favorite ones that I've bought recently. This is a huge Allosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. This one's probably twice the size as some of my other Allosaurus figures. Plus, it's got battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. And not only that, but it also has an attack button on its back for chomping. Over here, we've got a weird looking dinosaur. This one walks on all four legs and it has a huge spine. It's called a Siamosaurus. And the best part is you can use the tail to move the head around in a really realistic way, as well as open and close the mouth. I've also got the Mega Raptor from Jurassic World Dominion. It's pretty similar to a Velociraptor, but it has a lot more feathers on its body. And with this figure, you can press down on its body for a chomping action. I've still got one more giant T-Rex figure in here. This one is from Dominion, and it is an extreme battle damage T-Rex. Check out the battle damage right on the side that you can reveal with the click of a button. Next up is the Scorpio Venator from Jurassic World Dominion. This one also has small front arms and big back legs, and it has a pretty interesting head shape too. Let's check out that chomping action. Next up, this is the Irritator. It's a pretty unusual looking dinosaur. It's got a little spine on its back and a super long and narrow mouth. Oh, and it looks like I've got one more Hammond Collection figure in here. This is the Baryonyx from the Hammond Collection. And just like the others, it is super poseable on all parts of its body. Here is also a Dimetrodon with battle damage right on the side that you can activate and hide. And finally, this is a Rugops Primus from Jurassic World Dominion. Check out all that feather texturing all over its body.
Today, we're gonna to be taking all of my Jurassic World Dominion figures and we're gonna be putting them from biggest over here all the way to smallest down here. This figure right here is the largest Dominion figure that I have. This is the Dreadnoughtus figure and it is super long. It's probably three or four feet in length, but it still has some really cool features. You can even open and close the mouth and twist the head around too. So let's put this dinosaur on the very far left as the biggest dinosaur. Let's see, what super colossal figure is next? It's a tough call, but I think the Giganotosaurus might be the next largest. This figure is huge, has a classic green coloring, the awesome super sharp spine, and the really cool teeth. These are pretty unique. Let's set this super colossal Giganotosaurus down right next to the Dreadnoughtus figure. These are our two largest figures. Next up has got to be our super colossal T-Rex with the new brown and black coloring. You won't see this on older Jurassic World figurines. This one is super cool. Let's put this right next to our giant Giganotosaurus figure. Next is this awesome Atrociraptor figure. This one is the white with two different tones of brown striping along its back and sides. And unlike the other super colossal figures we've seen so far, the teeth are actually fully inside the mouth compared to the other figures we've seen so far where the teeth are on kind of like the outside of the mouth. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the next biggest, which is this tall Brachiosaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. Let me stand it up. Now this dinosaur is a lot taller than these other dinosaurs right here, but its body is a bit smaller and it's just shorter in size overall. So that's why I'm putting it over here. But it's got some pretty cool detailing, the blue coloring around its head. And next up in size is this giant Apatosaurus figure. Check out the size difference between this one and the Brachiosaurus over here. It's a little bit shorter, it's still standing on all four legs and it has a really long neck but instead of going up super tall like that one, this one kind of sticks out forward this more. Yeah. All right, now we're moving on to our slightly smaller figurines. We're gonna start with this T-Rex, which has the identical coloring as the super colossal figure right over there. This is a really cool T-Rex. I like the features on this one, and this one has a ginormous head compared to older Jurassic World T-Rexes. Right over here, we've got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This one has some really cool orange-brown coloring. It has a lot more detail than many of the other Jurassic World T-Rexes. It even has marbled eyes. Check out all that texture. And these figures are super poseable too, which is an awesome feature. Next, we've got this Thrashin' Giganotosaurus figure in the same coloring as the super colossal figure over here. They look pretty similar. This one's quite a bit smaller, although it's still probably around a foot in length from tail to head. So let's set this down right next to the T-Rex figure. All right, what do we go with next here? I think next is this Allosaurus figure. This figure is a little bit smaller than the T-Rex's and the Giganotosaurus figure here, but it is a lot larger than a lot of my other Allosaurus figures. Plus it has a battle damage feature right on its side that you can open and close. <laughs> Let's get this standing right next to the Giganotosaurus. The next up in size is the Therizinosaurus figurine, which was really cool in the Dominion movie. So we're gonna set this down right next to the Allosaurus figure and check out those huge claws on its hand and the really long neck with the big face at the very top. We've got another herbivore dinosaur next in size here. This is the Stegosaurus with some pretty cool coloring. It's got the brown, some lighter tan, green, and then the clay red at the very top. <laughs> All right, let's set it down next to the Therizinosaurus. Look at those spikes. They're a little bit taller than the Therizinosaurus, although if this was standing up all the way, it would definitely be a lot taller. Here is the Yang Chuanosaurus figure. This, I don't think was in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie, but it came out as part of the toy line. It's got some really cool coloring. It's got an action that lets you move the neck around in a lifelike way. And you know what? I think it is actually a little bit bigger than the Stegosaurus. So let's shift the Stegosaurus over and put this dinosaur right there. No. Next is a really interesting looking dinosaur. This is the Ampelosaurus. It's got the clay red coloring with the brown top, a super long neck, and it stands on four legs. Let's put this right next to the Stegosaurus figure. 
Hmm, I can't quite tell which one is the next largest, but I'm gonna go with the Rajasaurus figure in the blue and gray coloring. And it's got that cool little spike right at the top of its head. Now let's set it right next to the Ampelosaurus. Let's see if it stands up. I think its legs are kind of broken. So that'll have to do. Here is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus figure. Once again, it has pretty similar coloring as the super colossal figure right here. And this one comes with sound effects as well. It's pretty cool. So let's set this right next to the Rajasaurus figure. The next in size, I think, is this Pyroraptor figurine. This is the basic edition, but it still has the cool fiery red coloring and the black on its tail, on its legs, and a little bit on its head too. Let's set them down right here. <laughs> and very close in size to the Pyroraptor is this basic Atrociraptor figure in the same coloring as the super colossal figure that we have back here. So let's go down all the way to the end and set them on the table. All right, now the figures are getting a little bit smaller. I think next up is the Mega Raptor figure in the bright red and blue and a little bit of tan right along its face. And this figure is cool because it actually has an action when you press down on its back, it has a chomping action. Here is, I believe it's pronounced the Dryptosaurus. And a cool new feature that Mattel is putting on these toys is this little slide. It's like a thing that swings back and forth and it actually swings their head back and forth and opens their mouth too, which is pretty cool. Now let's set it down right next to the Mega Raptor. Next is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx figure. This one comes in the gray, dark blue with the yellow striping. And like all the Hammond Collection figures, is super poseable and really cool. Let's put this down right at the end. Here we've got another Hammond Collection figurine. This is the Parasaurolophus. It's got some pretty bright coloring and of course is super poseable and adjustable as well. Next is the bright Ichthyovenator. It looks kind of like a Spinosaurus because it has the big spine on its back and a long and narrow snout, but it has a super bright and much larger tail and is a lot smaller than a Spinosaurus, I think. So let's go ahead and put this down right next to the Parasaurolophus. Here we've got a huge Cynoceratops figurine with some bright yellow coloring around its all black eyes and the yellow coloring right on its tail as well. And like many of these other figures, it has the action that when you press down on its back, it lifts up its head. Let's see, next up in size is this Triceratops figure in the green and brown coloring. Let's put this at the very end. Oh, you know what? It looks like we're out of space at the very end though. So let's create a new row in the front right up here. We've got another Triceratops figure next, but this one is from the Hammond collection. So compared to this other Triceratops figure right here, you can see that this one has a lot more detailing and differencing in the color, because this one basically has two different colors. This one kind of fades into all sorts of other different colors. And of course, is a lot more poseable as well. Next up is the Iguanodon figurine in the tan and darker brown on top with the striping. Let's set down this Iguanodon right next to the Triceratops. Now we're down to the really small ones. So let's start with this brand new one that I bought. This is the Geniodectes Cirrus Dinosaur. All right, this dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. It's got a dark gray body, but then it has this super bright coloring along its leg, its neck, its face, and the super bright red on top. And this is the Extreme Battle Damage Edition, so you can click it open and closed with that button on the top. All right, let's put this Geniodectes down right next to the Iguanodon. We've got a few more extreme battle damage dinosaurs right here that are the same size. This first one is a Velociraptor and I've also gotten a Trociraptor figure. And they both have that button on the top that activates the battle damage on both sides of its body. Let's set these down next in line. I've got a couple more Atrociraptor figures right here. These are the non-battle damage versions. I've got an orange one with the tan striping and then of course the white with brown striping, just like the giant super colossal version. Let's get this first Atrociraptor down and the second one. 
Here is another Pyro Raptor. This is a pretty small figure, and this one actually has the extreme battle damage on the side as well. Check that out, it's pretty cool. It's got the same classic red and black coloring along its body. And let's set it down right next to the white Atrociraptor. This next figure I believe is called the Moros Intrepidus. It's got some pretty unique green and orange coloring. It's got the light green eyes, some pretty cool feathering and detailing all over its body. And let's set it down as the next smallest dinosaur. All right, now we're getting down to the real small dinosaurs. These are both Dimetrodons and their spines make them look really tall, but actually their bodies are really short. This first brown Dimetrodon is a normal one, doesn't have any special features, so we'll put that next in line. But this other Dimetrodon actually has battle damage on the side, like many of these other small figures, which is pretty cool. So let's set that down right there. And here are our last two dinosaurs. We've got a Miragaya dinosaur with the huge spikes on the side, and we've also got a Therizinosaurus figure, which is really small, but still has the giant claws and the classic coloring. All right, let's set these down. Looks like we have just enough space. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we're checking out a collection of my Jurassic Park figures versus my Jurassic World Dominion figures. So these are my oldest figures versus my newest figures. Let's get started with this giant T-Rex from Jurassic Park. This is JP29. This figure is rubbery all over aside from its legs and its arms, and you can use the tail to swing its head back and forth. Over here is the Slash and Roar Giganotosaurus. This figure is pretty big. It's about the size of many of my T-Rex figures, and it has two actions. The first button activates the torso for swinging back and forth, and the second button activates its jaw. Over here on the Jurassic Park side, we've got a Utah Raptor. This is JP22. This figure also has the all rubbery body aside from its arms and its legs, and it has a chomping action when you press down on its tail. And check it out, it's got pink eyes. I don't think I have another dinosaur with those color eyes. Next from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got the giant new T-Rex figure. This figure is huge and comes with a few features. First, you can move the tail back and forth, which swings its torso back and forth. And there's also a button on its jaw to activate opening and closing the jaw too. Over here from Jurassic Park, we've got another huge T-Rex figure. This figure has a rubbery body, just like all the other Jurassic Park T-Rexes, and this one actually has marbled eyes. Plus, this figure has a stomach compartment, so you can actually feed this dinosaur small dinosaurs, and then you can release them from the stomach down here. Next up, from Jurassic World Dominion, we've got an Ampelosaurus figure. This figure has the clay red body with the brown detailing. It's got spikes all over its body and the tail controls the head. And there's a button to activate the jaw too. From Jurassic Park, this is JP35. And I actually can't remember the name of this species. So comment down below if you recognize which dinosaur figure this is. But it's got these interesting wing-like things coming off of its arms. It's also got some huge spikes coming out of its head and its back. And of course, it's got a super long tail with those spikes at the very end as well. From Jurassic World Dominion, this is a Mega Raptor figure. This figure is red in the back and a dark gray blue color in the front. And it comes with an action that when you press down on its back, it chomps. Check out those super long claws on its hand too. 
Check this out. We've got a younger looking Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. This is the JP06 figure. It's got some battle damage on the side. It's got a full rubber body and it looks pretty full grown, but because it's a bit smaller, that's what makes me think it's a juvenile T-Rex. This is the Pyroraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the classic red coloring on its body with the black on its tail and its legs and some further detailing on its face too. This is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a bit. This is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus figure. This dinosaur has some pretty bright coloring all over its body, and of course it's got the iconic red coloring around its face and on its back. And since this figure is from the Hammond Collection, it is super poseable, and you can move all the joints in all sorts of directions. Here is the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus figure. This is JP24. It's got some battle damage right on its shoulder up there and some smooth green coloring throughout the rest of its body. And this figure actually has an action button. When you move this part up here, it swings its tail back and forth. From the Dominion series, we have the ginormous Therizinosaurus figure. This figure is mostly black and it has some pretty cool detailing with all the feathers. And of course it's got the iconic red stripe up its back and those huge claws on its hand too. Check out how big those are. And this figure has an action where you can move the tail to control the torso and open and shut the jaw too. Check it out, I actually found a much smaller Therizinosaurus in this collection as well. It has much of the same coloring with the dark blue everywhere and the red on its back, but this figure is way smaller. Next from Jurassic Park is JP19, a Parasaurolophus figure. This is light tan with some darker striping along its back and it's got the bright red along the back of its head too. Plus, it's got an action button on its back to move its legs for running. Here from Dominion, I've got two Ragosaurus figures. They look identical aside from their coloring. This first one is a dark blue color. It's got some lighter white on its chin and its neck as well. While this one is a light brown color with some dark blue detailing along its back and neck. And both have the same action button that when you press down on their back, they have a chomping action. Here is a ginormous Triceratops figure from the Jurassic Park collection. This is JP08. This one also has some battle damage right there on its shoulder and it's got the rubbery body just like many of the other Jurassic Park figures. And when you press down on this figure's stomach, it actually lifts its head up as well. Next up, we've got a few Baryonyx figures from Jurassic Park. This one is JP63. They look identical aside from the coloring again. This one is a dark brown color with some brighter detailing, and this one is a bright yellow color with darker detailing along the top. And both these figures have the same action that when you press down on their leg, they twist their neck back and forth. Here is the Dominion Sound Surge Carnotaurus figure. Let's check out those sound effects. That's pretty cool. It's got some pretty plain coloring along its body, but you can still move the legs, the arms, and the tail as well. I've also got the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. This figure is about the same size as the Carnotaurus we just saw and many of the same features. You can move its arms, its legs, and its tail, and it comes with some cool sound effects too. This next one, I believe, is called an Amargo Spinus. This is JP58. This is a really old figure. It's got some pretty cool detailing and coloring though. Plus, when you move the dinosaur's leg, you can see that the spines actually stick up on its back, on its neck, and it opens its jaw too. Here is a good old Triceratops from Jurassic Park. This is JP44. It's a smaller figure with the green body and the darker detailing on top. And when you move the leg on this figure, it lifts its head up too. Looks like I've got a few Atrociraptor figures in here. Check it out, they're all about the same size. This first one is a light tan color and is actually in the crawling or sneaking pose. Whereas these other two are just in the normal standing pose. This one I think is my favorite coloring because it's a lot brighter and pretty cool looking. 
Next from Jurassic Park, we've got another Velociraptor figure. This one is striped all over its body and it's got the light underbelly. And you can move the arms and the legs just a little bit. And the neck used to chomp downwards, but I think it's a little broken now. Check it out, I've got another Atrociraptor figure, but this one is a lot larger than the ones I just showed you. This one has the classic white and brown striping coloring and those awesome red eyes as well. But this is a basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail just a little bit, and you can't open the jaw at all. Right over here, it looks like I've got a baby dinosaur. This is JP58, and this originally came in an egg that you can open up. And look, it's got those marbled eyes as well. That's a pretty cool feature. Here is another Velociraptor figure, but this one has a broken leg feature. Look at that, you can actually move its leg a little bit like that. Plus, you can move the rest of its body as well. The legs, the arms, and you can open and close the jaw too. This Jurassic Park figure, I believe, is called the Chasmosaurus. This is JP21. This looks kind of like a Triceratops, but it has some different features on the front of its body. And this figure has an action that when you move its leg, it lifts its head up. And it has sound effects too. Here is a small Carnotaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the dark green body with the orange detailing on top. This Dilophosaurus figure is from Jurassic Park, and it looks quite a bit different from the new Jurassic World Dilophosaurus figures, don't you think? This is the Extreme Battle Damage Coelurus from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the green body with the clay red detailing along its legs and its tail, and of course it's got the battle damage on its side that you can turn on and off. Right over here, we've got a Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic Park. This figure is pretty bright with that bright green coloring right next to the dark gray color. And it has an action button that when you move its arm, it opens and closes its jaw. Over here, this is our last Dominion figure. This is the extreme battle damage Velociraptor. Check out that battle damage on its side. And last of all, we've got a Jurassic Park Velociraptor. This is a very classic figure. It's got the brown sides with the black detailing on top and the jaw that you can open and close by pressing on its head. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we're checking out not just one, but two bins of Jurassic World figures. There are 100 Jurassic World figures in here. Let's get started with this bin on the right. First up is this hybrid Indominus Rex figure. Even got sound effects too. Plus, there's spikes that come out on its back too. This is an extreme battle damage orange Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got the battle damage all over its body and there's an action at the top of its head to activate the jaw. Next up is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. This T-Rex has a button on its back for the jaws, and you can use the tail for a stomping action. Here's another Indominus Rex figure. This one has a rubber neck while the rest of its body is a hard plastic, and you can use the arms to open and close the jaws. Over here, we've got a Terran T-Rex. This T-Rex is pretty cool because it has a button that activates the tearing action with its mouth. Look at that. That's pretty intense. And there's another button on its back to activate the tail. Over here, we've got a really cool Spinosaurus figure. This figure is pretty big and it's got some awesome coloring and detailing all over its body. And like many of the other large figures, it has a button on the top of its head to activate the jaw. This, I believe, is called the Seats Micorerum. It's got an orange and blue body with some great detailing as well. It's got tons of spikes on its head and you can use the tail to control the mouth and the neck. This is an orange Velociraptor. It's a pretty basic figure, so you can only move the arms, the legs, and the tail, but it's pretty large and still pretty cool. Here is a huge Allosaurus figure. This has the classic coloring for many of the Allosaurus figures, and best of all, it's got battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a T-Rex figure, but with some cool coloring. It's got the red and the black spots all over its body and the light underbelly as well. Plus it's got an action button on its back to activate the jaw. 
Here's a similar T-Rex of the same size, but with totally different coloring. And actually, this one is a hybrid T-Rex because it has spines that pop out of its back, just like that. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus figure. This figure is medium size and it has one action button on its back to activate the chomping action. This is an Albertosaurus figure. It's got the dark green body with orange detailing and you can use the tail to control the head and jaw on this figure. Here is a medium sized Velociraptor figure. It's a lot bigger than many of the Velociraptor figures that I have and I actually have a few other that are very similar to it as well. Check these out. They're all around the same size and have many of the same features. This one is a light tan with green stripes. This one's darker colored. And this one actually has some battle damage on its side that you can press. I believe this dinosaur is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's got a dark purple coloring with some detailing along the top and an action button with its tail for the head butting. Next up, we've got a smaller Indominus Rex figure with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. That's pretty cool. Plus, you can use the tail to control the head on this figure too. Next up, I believe this is the Nasutoceratops figure. It's got the dark blue body with some different coloring all throughout. It's got those huge horns in the front and two action buttons, one to lift up its head and one to swing its tail. This is a huge Pteranodon figure. It's pretty basic because it can't do a whole lot, but it has some pretty cool coloring on the wings. You can move the wings up and down as well as open and close the mouth. I've got another winged dinosaur here, but I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur this is. So let me know in the comments below. This big dinosaur, I believe, is called an Amargosaurus. It's got two huge ridges on its neck that go all the way down its back to its tail, and it has two action buttons, one to operate the neck and one to operate the tail. Here is another huge Velociraptor figure. This one is actually Velociraptor Blue. It's got these stripes down its side, and you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail on this figure. This is the basic Scorpios Rex figure. It's got the poisonous quills on its tail, and you can move the arms and legs on this figure too. Next up is the Pentaceratops figure. This figure is pretty close to a Triceratops, but it's got a huge frill on the front and a ton more horns too. You can use the action button to lift up its neck and to swing its torso around too. Here's a couple more medium-sized Velociraptor figures. This first one is a dark green with black stripes. And this other one is a lot brighter and it actually has battle damage on its side as well. That's pretty cool. Plus with this figure, you can use the tail to open and close the jaw. Here is a Triceratops figure with the clay red coloring and the brown on the top. And it's got one action button to lift up the head. This next figure, I believe is the Sinoceratops. Also looks quite a bit like a Triceratops as well, but again, some big differences in the front. And with this figure, you can use the tail to control the head. Next up is the giant Quetzalcoatlus dinosaur. This winged dinosaur is from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie and has a few action buttons on it. The first action button you can press to flap its wings and the second button activates its jaw. <laughs> Here's a Dimetrodon figure with the light blue-gray coloring on the sides and the giant red spine on top. Check out these smaller dinosaurs. I think these are both called Proceratops. We've got one with the purple coloring and a little bit of yellow. The other one is light green with also some yellow coloring as well. This is a dark green and light green Sauropelta with those huge spikes coming out of its back. Here is a smaller carnivore dinosaur. This is a Herrerasaurus, and it's got an action button with its tail that opens and closes its jaw. Here is a Styracosaurus figure. It's got those two super bright circles right on the front and tons of horns around its head too. Here is the Shringosaurus figure. It's pretty odd looking. It's got the yellow body with the brown detailing on top and a super long neck and some horns at the very top. This is the Miragaya figure. It's got a dark body with some lighter coloring in the back and those two giant horns sticking out of its back too. 
Here's a smaller Triceratops figure with battle damage right on the side that you can open and close. This is a Stigimaloc figure with the dark brown coloring on the sides and some darker detailing along the top, plus an action button to activate the headbutting action. This is a Parasaurolophus figure. This is a newer one, I think from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some darker detailing right along the top. Here's another Pachycephalosaurus figure with a light tan body and the darker coloring along the top and the action button on its tail to activate the head button. This is a baby Brachiosaurus figure. It can move the neck up and down as well as move the legs and open and close the jaw too. And here are two Gallimimus figures, one with a dark green coloring and one with a light tan and brown coloring along the top. We've got one more bin to go, but before we do, let's check out these brand new ones that I just bought, including this giant Dreadnoughtus figure. Let's open this one up first. All right, here is the Dreadnoughtus fully assembled. It's actually really hard to show even the whole thing on camera because it is so long. This neck is a lot longer than a Brachiosaurus, I think. Let's check out the head first. You can open and close its mouth. And you can move the neck back and forth. See that swivel right there? You can adjust the legs and you can even move the tail back and forth too. This figure is ginormous and it has some pretty cool coloring along the top and the sides as well. This next figure I think is pronounced the Rugops Primus figure. It's from the ferocious pack of Jurassic World Dominion. This is a pretty cool looking figure. It's got the dark green body with the black tail and the black detailing around its head. And you can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the head as well. Next up is the Jurassic World Herrerasaurus figure. This figure has a lighter green body with some teal blue coloring along the top, while its face is that dark green color too. You can open and close the jaws manually, and you can move all the other limbs as well. <laughs> Next is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Here is Dr. Ian Malcolm with his fiery torch, and it also came with this small dinosaur. I can't remember the name of this dinosaur, but it's a pretty cool set. And next, we've got the Camp Cretaceous Soundstrike Pteranodon. All right, let's unfold those wings. This is a pretty big dinosaur. It's probably a foot long from wingtip to wingtip, and it's got a few action buttons as well. The first one you can press to flap its wings and get some sound effects. And the second button activates its jaw. Now let's dig into this second bin. First off, we've got an Indominus Rex figure. This figure is huge and has the classic gray coloring that you can see in the movies. <laughs> Over here is another Pteranodon figure, but this one I believe is from the Amber Collection. So it's got rubbery wings and a whole lot more detail too. <laughs> this is another huge Spinosaurus figure. This one has the green body with the light underbelly, but it's still got the red spine and the red detailing around its face too. In the back here, we've got a T-Rex figure with the camouflage coloring. That's pretty cool. And this T-Rex has two actions. You can pull up on its tail for a chomping action, or you can pull down on the tail for a roaring action. Here is a T-Rex figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a rubbery tail and a chomping action when you lift up its body. Here's another T-Rex figure with the gray and brown coloring on its body. It's very adjustable with its neck and its legs and its arms, and there's the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. This is a Carcharodontosaurus figure with the blue coloring on the sides and the brighter detailing along its back. And it's got an action button on its back for the chomping. Next is a Stegosaurus figure with the gray blue body and the lighter underbelly. And this figure has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Watch out for those spikes. This is an Allosaurus figure with a slide lever action on the top so you can get a bunch of different sound effects and different roaring poses too. 
Here is a Suko Mimas figure with a blue body and the yellow detailing along the top. And this figure has one action button for the chomping. Here's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. This figure has the red coloring on the side and the dark purple on top with an action button to activate the jaw and the neck. This, I believe, is another Cynoceratops figure. It's got the light green body with some yellow detailing on its tail and on the front as well. And when you press down on the back of this figure, it lifts its head up. This is another Allosaurus figure with different coloring. It's got the gray body with the yellow detailing. You can move all of its limbs and it has an action button on its back to activate the jaw. This is a Ceratosaurus figure with the gray coloring on the bottom and some brown and red all the way up to the top of its face. Here is one of my largest Endoraptor figures. This figure has a few different actions. First, there's a button on its tail to activate the arms. You can use the tail to swivel the torso around and there's a button on the bottom of the tail to activate the jaw. Next up, we've got a huge Dilophosaurus figure with the bright red coloring and the even brighter frills in the front. This is a pretty basic figure though, so you can't do too much with it. You can move the arms and legs and the tail a little bit. Here is the Iguanodon figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got the light tan body with some lighter striping along the top. And when you press down on this Iguanodon, it lifts its head up and down. Next up is a Cryolophosaurus figure. This figure has some darker coloring along its body. It's also got some brighter red detailing all the way up to the crown on the top of its head. And you can use the tail to swing the neck back and forth too. Way over here, I believe this dinosaur is called the Kentrosaurus. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it's got these huge spikes coming out of its side. And this figure has a slide lever action on its back to swing those spikes back and forth. Here is a Triceratops figure in the brown and blue coloring. Plus, you can use the tail on this dinosaur to control the neck. Alright, we've got a Baryonyx figure in here. This one has the light brown and the dark gray blue coloring. And there's an action button on its back to activate its jaws. We've got another Baryonyx figure in here, but this one is super bright. It's got the bright green coloring along its side and bottom, and the brown along the top, plus that action button to activate its jaw too. Here's a pretty rare dinosaur. This is the Edmontosaurus. It's got some pretty cool coloring along its body and you can use the tail to control the neck. Next up, we've got a Velociraptor from the Amber Collection. This one is the bright orange and brown Velociraptor and it is super poseable. Here is an older Ankylosaurus figure. This one is actually a hybrid and it has special armor plating that you can take on and off. Plus it has an action button that when you move this leg, it swings its tail back and forth and moves its head too. I've got a few mini T-Rex figures in here. These are also older figures from the first Jurassic World movie. They're both pretty identical, but with different coloring. And they both have the action where you can move its jaw and its neck by moving the tail around. <laughs> Looks like I've got some more Velociraptor figures in here. Check out this one. This one is dark blue, but it has the yellow and gold coloring along the top of its head. I've also got these green Velociraptors too. This one is in the sneaking pose, and this one has some really cool detailing along the top of its body. These two figures are both Dilophosaurus figures. This one is the newer figure and is a bit smaller, but it does have an action button on its tail to activate the frills and open the jaw in the front, which is pretty cool. And this older Dilophosaurus figure, I believe from the first Jurassic World movie, it's a bit bigger, has battle damage on the side, and you can use the tail to move its neck. <laughs> Here's another Stegosaurus figure. This one has the brown, tan, and green coloring. And it also has an action button that when you press down right here, it swings its tail back and forth. Looks like I've got three more Ankylosaurus figures, all with different coloring. This first one is brown and has the green and gray coloring on the top, plus with an action button to swing its tail. This next Ankylosaurus has the clay red underside with the tan and brown on top. And this third Ankylosaurus has the yellow coloring on the bottom with the green and gray on top and a slide lever action to swing the tail back and forth.
Here is another Dilophosaurus figure from the first Jurassic World movie, and this figure is super bright. Plus, it has the action on its tail to move its neck up and down. Here's another giant Stegosaurus figure. This one has a softer green-blue coloring, and it has the action button that you press down to swing its tail back and forth. Here's another Stegosaurus figure, but this one has the gray, brown, tan, and green coloring all over its body. And this one actually has two action buttons. The first one moves its head up and down, and the second one swings the tail back and forth. This is a Parasaurolophus figure with the light yellow coloring and the brown stripes, and it's got two action buttons. The first moves its head up and down, and the second swings its tail back and forth. We've got some more Velociraptor and Atrociraptor figures in here. First, we've got another Velociraptor blue figure. We've also got this purple and red Velociraptor. And we've got two Atrociraptor figures as well. We've got one that's tan and in the crawling pose, and we've got a bright orange-red one with the white striping. Next up, we've got a Sauropelta figure in the clay red color that can swing back and forth, so you better watch out for those spikes. We've also got this Moros Intrepidus figure with the light green coloring and the orange on its tail too. Here's another small Indominus Rex figure. This one also has the battle damage on its side and you can use the tail to control its jaw and its neck too. This is another Stigimaloc figure. This one does not have any action buttons, but you can move its legs, its arms, and its head around too. And here is also another baby Brachiosaurus figure. This one though has the gray and purple coloring right along the top. And last of all is this Herrerasaurus figure with the dark blue coloring and the lighter detailing on its back and all the way up to its head too. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of old Jurassic Park versus Jurassic World figurines. A lot of these figures you can't find anywhere except on like eBay, and they might be actually pretty expensive in some cases. Plus, I've even got some brand new Jurassic World figures that we're gonna open up as well today. So let's get started. First up of the brand new dinosaurs is the Zungaripteris. This is a flying dinosaur. So let's open it up and check it out. So this flying dinosaur is pretty brightly colored. It's got yellow wings and a yellow body, and then it's got the brown on the very top and on the neck and on the head. You can see there's a bit more bright coloring right on its horn and right along its eyes and nose as well. Let's see if you can open up the mouth. Yep. You can adjust the wings and you can move the neck around as well. And the DNA barcode is right there. Next up is the Moros Intrepidus. Let's check it out. This dinosaur is from the Jurassic World Ferocious Pack, and it's pretty adjustable. You can see it's got a soft green color throughout most of its body. It's got some white, and then the orange tail at the back. Let's see if we can open up the mouth. Oh, it's really difficult, but you can. And its joints are pretty articulated as well. You can move the arms, the neck, you can move the legs, and the tail too. Here we've got the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. Let's check it out. All right, here is the Atrociraptor. Just put batteries in it, so let's see what it can do. You can see that there's a button up top here and a power switch. Let's turn on the power and let's press the button and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. So the so the body does move. It does like this little wiggling thing. If I put it down on the table, I bet it would walk. That's pretty interesting. I do love the coloring on this as well. It is a bright orange color over most of its body. It's got the brown on top and a little bit of yellow detailing on the legs. It's pretty cool. And last of the brand new dinosaurs is Velociraptor Charlie from the Camp Cretaceous set. All right, another Velociraptor to add to my huge Velociraptor collection. And it's got an action button right here on the top for some slashing. Let's check that out. Looks like it doesn't work too well. Yeah, the slashing action seems like it kind of gets stuck a bit. But still, this is a pretty cool Velociraptor. It's pretty articulate with all its joints. 
I think this will look great with all my other Velociraptors. All right, let's dig into this giant bin of old Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. This is the 1993 Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a soft body all over. Its legs are made of hard plastic, as well as its arms are hard plastic that swivel. And this T-Rex has a chomping action. When you squeeze the soft stomach, its mouth opens and closes. It's a little old, so it's not working quite as well as it used to. But this is pretty cool. This is a huge T-Rex. Here we've got another vintage Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. This T-Rex also has a soft body, except for its legs is a hard plastic, as well as its arms again, that you can swivel back and forth. And with this T-Rex, instead of squeezing the stomach, you can move the tail and it moves its head around. That's pretty cool. This is a super old dinosaur figure. This is the Stomp and Strike T-Rex. This is one of the older Jurassic World figures. And how it works is set it up like that. So it's in the roar position. And then you activate the tail and it comes swinging down for a chomp. That is pretty cool. Here we've got a super special and pretty hard to find Jurassic World Hybrid Indominus Rex. Let's check out the features of this dinosaur. First, with the arm, if you pull that, then it has a chomping action. Second, there's a hidden button right here that when you press, it shoots out its spikes. I'm super glad I have this Indominus Rex and I love the gold on the underbelly too. That is something you don't see very often. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park dinosaur. This is the Utah Raptor. See, it's got the JP-22 right there on its legs. It's got some huge claws on its feet that are adjustable, and you can move the legs and the arms. And with this Utah Raptor, you can actually pull the legs back to lock into place, and then there's a hidden button underneath its tail that you press to swing them forward. So it's like a chomping action when it's standing up. Here is a vintage Jurassic Park Allosaurus. This dinosaur has a hard plastic body all around, and you can see that some body parts actually come off to reveal battle damage underneath. Look how detailed that is too. You can see like intestines in there. You can see some bone on the part that you take out. And there's even other parts that you can take out too. You can take out part of its leg, see its bone and its muscle right there. And you can even take out part of its tail too. Let's check out that bone underneath. And it just clicks right back into place. Here is another hybrid dinosaur. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line. This is a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see those spines right on the top there. You can actually hide them and the ones right next to its head. And then when you press this button right here, they'll all slide out. That's pretty cool. Plus, that button doubles as a chomping button. This has some pretty unique coloring on it, too. This one back here is a Jurassic Park vintage toy. I believe this is a baby T-Rex, if I remember correctly. You can see it has some battle damage right there on the side. And like many of the other vintage figures that I have, its body is soft, aside from its hands and its feet. It's got a mostly brown body with a darker brown spots and stripes as well. Back here, we've got a special edition Ankylosaurus. This one's pretty special because it actually has this additional shell that you can remove to reveal the normal shell. And look, it's even got some battle damage right there on the side. So this is pretty cool. And you just click it right back on. And this Ankylosaurus has an action as well. When you move this leg back and forth, you can see that it sticks its head out and it swings its tail too. Here's another Jurassic World T-Rex. You won't see the JW tattoo on its leg because this one was colored differently. So this one is a red color with black spots and stripes all over. And it's got the chomping action button on its back too. This is pretty cool. Right over here, we've got another vintage Jurassic World figure made by Kenner. This is the Chasmosaurus. It's got that huge shield in the front. It's got the three horns on its head. Plus, with this figure, when you move the leg, it moves its head up and down for a roaring action. 
this is a Ceratosaurus with battle damage. It's got the red on the top with the black stripes and the rest of its body is a light tan color. And it's pretty articulate with the arms and the legs. Plus with the tail, when you move that up and down, it opens and closes its mouth. Here we've got an even smaller T-Rex. This is also from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got the battle damage on the side, arms and legs can move, and with the tail, you can control the head. You can go up and down, back and forth, and you can open and close the mouth all in one. Right over here is a big winged dinosaur. I believe this is a Pteranodon. You can fold in the wings, make it easier for storage, and it's got two buttons on its back. One flaps the wings, and one opens and closes the mouth. Here we've got a bunch of classic Jurassic World Velociraptors. I have a ton of these. See that these two are tan with the green striping on top. This one is a dark green with the black striping on top. And with each of them, you can move the arms and the legs. Can't open the mouth or close them or anything like that. But these are actually some of my biggest Velociraptors, which is pretty cool. This is the Ankyloranodon. And it's a pretty weird looking dinosaur. It's got a light color over most of its body and the bright red striping right on the top all the way to the tail. See, it's got some spikes or feathers or something like that on the top of its head, on its back, and on its arms like wings as well, as well as right on the tip of its tail. And with this figure, you can move its leg up and down for a roaring or chomping action. Here we've got a basic Jurassic World Spinosaurus. You can't open and close the mouth or adjust the neck on this one. And it is smaller than a lot of the other Spinosaurus figures that I have. But it's still got the same iconic coloring as my other Spinosauruses. With the red on the top, the white in the middle, and the green on the bottom. As well as the red right around its eyes. Next up, from Jurassic World, we've got a Dilophosaurus that is super brightly colored with orange and green and yellow. This is a super colorful dinosaur. Plus, with this figure, it comes with an action. When you move the tail up and down, it swings its head up and down. Over here from Jurassic World again is a Ceratosaurus with pretty unique coloring. It's got brown over its whole body and then a light orange detailing on its back all the way to its horn and the action button on its back activates its roar and its jaw. Next up, from the Jurassic World toy line, JP63, we've got a classic Baryonyx. This dinosaur is super thin looking, and with its right foot, you can move it back and forth to twist its neck back and forth too. Here is another hybrid dinosaur from Jurassic World. This looks to be like a Triceratops and Stegosaurus hybrid. Plus, it's got the battle damage right there on the side. This dinosaur is super bright with a light blue on most of its body and dark blue detailing on its feet and in the front too. And this dinosaur has an action. When you move the tail, it swings its head forward for a stabbing action. This one is a similar hybrid as the one we just saw, but with different coloring. You can see it's a dark green with some tan detailing on its body with the same battle damage. I believe this is also a Stegosaurus and Triceratops hybrid with the same stabbing action too. This classic Jurassic Park figure, I believe is called an Amargo Spinus. It's got some bright red accenting on the top of its body. It's got some horns right there on its neck and the rest of its body is black and tan. Let's check out the actions on this dinosaur. You can see when you move this leg, it activates those spines to go up. It also moves those spines on its neck and it opens and closes its mouth for a roar too. So it's doing three things at once. I see a few more Jurassic World Velociraptors. Let's see, we've got the dark green with black striping. We've got a brown with gray striping. We've got a special one over here that is a bright green with red striping. And this one actually has a few actions on it. It's got a battle damage button right on its side and the tail activates the mouth too. I think there's one more back here. Yep, here is another Velociraptor also with the battle damage on its side and the tail chomping action. 
This figure is another vintage Jurassic Park figure made by Kenner. This is Apache Cephalosaurus. You can see it's still got the restraint around its waist, but when you take that off, you can see that there's actually some battle damage revealed underneath, which is pretty cool. And as you're probably guessing, since it's Apache Cephalosaurus, the action button that you press right here is for the headbutting. But this figure is so old that it'll actually fly off. As you can see, it's kind of broken. But that's still a pretty cool action for Apache Cephalosaurus. Over here, we've got some small Jurassic World Indominus Rex figures. This one's the smallest, so let's check this one out first. You can see that there's some battle damage on the side. And just like those smaller T-Rexes we saw earlier, you can use the tail to control the face to open and close the mouth, to move the neck around and all that. This slightly larger Indominus Rex has battle damage as well, but you can open and close this one actually. Um. And then you can just pop it right open. Plus you can use the tail for the chomping action too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is from the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. This is the Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus. It's got the green body with the red and white stripe. And of course, you can move the neck around and activate the chomping with the button on the top of its head. Here's an even smaller Spinosaurus, but this one looks a lot different. This is an older Spinosaurus figure from Jurassic World. See that it's blue along most of its body. It's got some gold coloring on its belly and then the bright red spine. And like the small Indominus Rex and small T-Rexes that we saw earlier, you can use the tail to move the neck and open and close the jaw. We've got another big T-Rex. This is from Jurassic World. It's tan in color all over its body and it's got the button on the top of its back that activates the jaw. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park Baryonyx. This is another super slim dinosaur again. You can see it's got the orange striping on the top. And like the other Baryonyx from Jurassic Park, when you move this leg, it twists its head around. Oh. Here we've got a super weird looking dinosaur from Jurassic Parks. This is a Lycanops. Kind of looks like a saber toothed tiger in a way. It's got those huge fangs in its mouth. And the mouth is spring-loaded, so you can open and close it. This is from Jurassic World, and I believe this is the Proceratosaurus. You can see most of its body is a light tan color with some gray detailing on its back all the way up to its face, and it's got the bright red right on top of its face, too. Here is another Apache Cephalosaurus, but this one is from the old Jurassic World line. And you can see with the tail, that you can move its head up and down and back and forth. This is another Jurassic Park vintage toy, and it is, I believe, a Dilophosaurus. This figure is pretty small and pretty slim, but you can see those iconic frills right at the top of its head. Here are a few more Jurassic World figures. This, I believe, is another Pteranodon with wings that you can fold up or extend. It's got the action button on its back for flapping its wings. And with this figure, you have to manually open and close its mouth. There is no button for it. This figure is a Jurassic World Mosasaurus. You can see it's got the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Plus, with this figure, you can use the front fins to activate the jaw. We've got some more Jurassic Park vintage figures in here. This first, I believe, is a Velociraptor with red on the top and orange on the sides. This other figure I have in my hand is a baby T-Rex. You can see with this baby T-Rex that you can actually move the leg around. You can see that it's broken in a way. It did originally come with a bandage that you used to cover that. But all in all, this is a pretty cool figure. Here is another hybrid Triceratops Stegosaurus from Jurassic World. It's got the battle damage on the side, and just like we saw with the other figures, you can use the tail for a stabbing action. Here are two other similar Jurassic World figures. Both of them have the tail chomping action. You can see this one is a T-Rex with battle damage, and this one is a Spinosaurus with battle damage. Let's check out those chomping actions. Oh. 
And last of all is the classic Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Let's check it out. It's got the chomping action in the front and you can adjust the arms and the legs too. Welcome back. Today, we're checking out my entire display shelves of dinosaur figures from Jurassic World and more. Let's get started with this first shelf. Starting at the very top here, I've got this old Jurassic Park statue figure. I've also got this super colossal Carnotaurus Toro. I've got a Jurassic Park Jeep. This one came out pretty recently. I've also got a T-Rex skull from Jurassic World back there. And I've also got a Mosasaurus figure right at the very top. This is one of the big figures. And one of my favorite things about this middle shelf is this sign, just like from Jurassic Park. I think it looks really cool. We move down a shelf, you can see that I've got a lot of these smaller figures from Jurassic World. Some of these are Camp Cretaceous, some of them are Dominion, so I've got a whole mixture in here, but they're all Jurassic World. Over here on the right, I've got all my Monolophosaurus figures of all different colors. I've got some super bright ones, Got some darker ones in the back. Right next to it are the Herrerasaurus figures. I think I have three on the display shelf right now. They're different colors. Got a green one, I've got a light blue, and then I've got a dark green one way in the back there. Also hiding in the back there, I believe, is a Moros Intrepidus that you can recognize from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. Next up, I've got three Dimetrodons on display, all different colors. Got a light blue, I've got a bright green one. This is actually the battle damage edition that you can see on the side. And I've also got a darker brown green one in the back too. I believe this one is also from the Dominion series. And here on the left side, I've got a bunch of miniature Dilophosaurus figures of all different colors again. Mm -hmm. Got a soft green one right here. Here's a bright purple. This one's like a dark brown green color. I've also got a gray one right there as well. So I've got quite a few different types. And moving down a level, I've got all my Jurassic World T-Rex figures. Out of all the dinosaurs, I probably have the most T-Rexes. We've got this one that is the tearing T-Rex. We've got the Jurassic World Dominion figure right here in the back. Next, we have this bright green T-Rex. That's one of my favorites. I really like the coloring on this one. Right next to it is a battle damage T-Rex. You can see that there's some damage on its side and even on its face right there. Oh, and also a huge gash right on its chin too. Right behind it is a T-Rex of the same color, but a little bit bigger, and you can actually use its tail to control its jaw. Right next to it is one of my favorite figures of them all. This is the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I really like it because of the detail with the coloring and the shading. It's so much more textured than a lot of the T-Rex figures. I mean, just compare the coloring and texturing of this figure, the Hammond Collection, to this one. This one has a lot more just like simple coloring and shading. It's still really cool, but the Hammond Collection is a lot more detailed. Right next to that, I've got a smaller T-Rex. This one is a brown gray color. It has the button on the top of its head for the chomping and roaring. And right next to that one, I've actually got a larger T-Rex. This one comes with a face cage. It's not on it right now, obviously, but you can use the button on its back to break free from the cage. Right behind that one, kind of hidden, is a camouflage T-Rex. I don't even have enough space for all the T-Rex figures that I have, but this T-Rex has some awesome coloring as well. Look at that green, brown, and black. That one would blend into the jungle super well. Let's keep moving down a level. Next up, we've got my Scorpios Rex figures. We first got this one with two action buttons. One controls the arms and the other controls the jaw. And squished way in the back here, I've got another Scorpios Rex figure, but this is the basic edition. So you can move the arms, the legs, and the tail on this figure, but there's no action buttons and the mouth doesn't open and close. Right next to it, we've got the Endoraptor. This figure is super adjustable. It's got some red on its eyes. It's got the gold line right down its side. I've also got the basic figure of that as well. 
so the mouth doesn't open and close on this one. Still has the same cool coloring and you can move the arms and the legs. And moving down the line, we've got the Majingasaurus right next to it. It's got a dark green color with yellow and blue. Right behind it is the Concavenator with its iconic spine right on its back. I've also got the Siats Mikurerum, I believe it's called. Look at these interesting big teeth on its bottom jaw that fit in right onto its top jaw, just like that. I've always liked that. Right behind that, I believe, is a Mega Raptor. It's kind of hard to see. It's got a bright red body with the gray. This is the Ragasaurus with the horn on the top of its head and the spines right along the back of its neck. I've also got a Tarbosaurus figure. There's the Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And on the left side over here, I've got an Irritator from Jurassic World. I've also got a couple Cryolophosauruses. In the back here is a Yang Chuanosaurus. It's bright green with the brown on the top and the red frills right on the top of its head. And at the very end here, I've got a few Carcharodonosaurus figures. This one, I believe, came with the face cage that you can press the button on its back. Let's see if I can reach it here. To break its head free. All right, let's move down to the final level of this first shelf. I've got the Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal T-Rex. It's got the dark brown color with the black on top and the stomach compartment like all the other ones so you can feed it small dinosaurs. I've also got the Super Colossal Velociraptor that was released quite a while ago, I believe. This one looks really cool. And I've actually got another Carnotaurus Toro at the bottom as well. And that is it for the first shelf in the middle. Let's move on to this shelf to the right. Let's check out all these other Jurassic World figures. First, right at the top here, I've got another super colossal T-Rex. This figure is the orange and tan one. And of course it has the stomach compartment, just like all the super colossal figures. Right beside it, we've got a Dr. Alan Grant figure holding a Dimetrodon skull, I believe. Also got a Velociraptor skull right here and a Jurassic Park little uh, setup right here too, which is pretty cool. Moving down a level, we've got some herbivore figures from Jurassic World and then some more carnivore figures as well. Most of these are Velociraptors, but we'll get to that. Over here on this side, I've got a variety of herbivores. Like we've got the baby Ankylosaurus figure, we've got a baby Brachiosaurus right there in the back. Over here, I believe that's a Stigimaloc figure, and this might be a baby Stigimaloc figure, I think. Mm -hmm. There's also a Minmi figure that is dark red, and right behind it, I think, a Pachycephalosaurus figure. And then next up, I've got a ton of Velociraptor figures. These ones on the very right here are the spring-loaded velociraptors that can actually jump up into the air. So you can actually press down on their legs and then release it and they'll spring up into the air and they're all built that same way. And then all these velociraptor figures come from various sets. I've got a bright red velociraptor here. This velociraptor is actually an extreme battle damage one that I got recently. You can check out the battle damage right there on the side. And they come in a variety of colors. I've got green, I've got gray, I've got brown, and I've even got a bright red one right here. Oh, you know what? This one is actually a spring-loaded velociraptor as well. Let's move down a level to some more gigantic dinosaur figures. I've got all my Indominus Rex figurines right here from Jurassic World. This first one is the battle-damaged Indominus Rex that you can turn on and off. It comes with sound effects. This one is actually a custom colored Indominus Rex, so you won't see one with this color ring around anywhere else. This Indominus Rex comes with the jaw chomping action on its tail and also a arm slashing action with a button on its back. And I've also got this little Indominus Rex figure that has a couple actions as well. You can press the button on the top of its head for sound effects. And then you can open and close the jaw with the tail and by pressing down on its tongue. Right next to that are my Giganotosaurus figures. I don't have that many yet. This big one in the back here is the Strike and Roar Giganotosaurus. So it swings its torso back and forth. It can also chomp on little dinosaur figures. This little one is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. So a lot smaller and not as detailed, but it does come with sound effects. 
And right next to that are all my Carnotaurus figures. I've got one from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. It's got the unique coloring and the broken horn. I've got three large size Carnotaurus figures. All of them have the action buttons and they're all colored differently. And then of course, I've got a little Carnotaurus figure that can blink its eyes and also chomp using a button on its tail. All right, that's all the figures on this shelf. Let's move down one more level. I've got a ton of herbivores here and then more carnivores right over here. Let's start with the herbivores. So most of these figures are species related to the Triceratops, which I've already got one, two, three on display over here. I've also got the Nesudoceratops in the back over here. And I've also got a Sinoceratops figure right up front here and another figure that I can't remember the species of right now. Moving on to the left, I've got the Pentaceratops figure with the head cage that you can break free from, and also an Aranosaurus figure right in the back here. This figure right next to it, I believe is an Amargospinus? I can't remember though. Let me know down in the comments if you know which dinosaur this is. And then finally, I've got some more carnivore figures. I've got the Suchomimus figures right here. One of them is a bright yellow, the other is a dark blue with yellow. I've also got the basic edition Velociraptor blue and a few basic Dilophosaurus figures here. Got the soft green with red Dilophosaurus and then a bright red and yellow Dilophosaurus. Over here in the back, actually, I forgot to mention, this is an Ampelosaurus. This one I got pretty recently. And this basic figure, I can't remember what species it is, but let me know down in the comments if you recognize this species. And hidden way in the back over here, I've got a little Atrociraptor figure and also a Dilophosaurus figure as well. All right, that's it for this level. Let's move down back to some more super colossal figures. This one is a blue gray color with those blood red eyes, which I really like. I think this one might've been custom colored, but I can't quite remember. I Pretty sure it is. Right next to that, I've got a big Brachiosaurus figure. You can open and close its mouth. You can adjust the neck and the legs as well. And right next to that, I've got another super colossal T-Rex. This one has some pretty awesome coloring as well. It's got the camouflage green. It's got some battle damage on its side. And it's got some awesome orange and gold eyes. That's it for this shelf. Now let's move on to the next shelf to the right. Way at the very top, I've got an Apatosaurus gigantic figure. There's also a huge King Kong figurine. I've also got an old Jurassic Park Jeep and an RC Velociraptor Blue. Moving down a level, I've got a ton more Jurassic World herbivore figures. Got more Brachiosauruses. I've got the Battle Damage Triceratops, another Minmi. Got tons more in the back over there. I've got a Miragaya with the huge horns on its shoulder. I've got this figure. I can't remember what species this is, but this is a pretty funky looking dinosaur. I've got more Pachycephalosaurus figures in the back, a Parasaurolophus right there in the middle. I've got a Protoceratops figure right there and a Sauropelta that is the clay red and brown color too. Moving on from there, we've got many of my oldest Jurassic World figurines next. We've got the hybrid Indominus Rex figure with the gold on its hands and on its belly and the red and the spikes that come out of its back. We've also got this super old Indominus Rex figure. It's got the rubber head and neck and the plastic torso and tail. It's really interesting that they used to create these dinosaurs out of rubber. They feel so weird and they don't last as long as you'll notice. I've also got a few smaller Indominus Rex figures. This one is tiny. It's got a little bit of battle damage on the side and you can use the tail to control the head. And on this figure, a slightly larger Indominus Rex, it's got bigger battle damage on the side that you can open and close and you can use the tail to chomp the jaw too. Right beside that, I've got a variety of T-Rex figures from the old Jurassic World line. Got this light tan T-Rex, got the button on its back to activate the jaw. Right beside that is a larger Trompin T-Rex. This one also has a rubberized neck. And beside that, I've got some smaller T-Rex figures. This one on the right is a custom colored T-Rex, but it's the exact same as this tan one right over here. And I've also got this hybrid T-Rex right here. I'm not sure what it's a hybrid with, but it's got some spines that pop out on its back, which is pretty cool. 
On the next level, I've got more old Jurassic World figurines of all different varieties. I've got a little Mosasaurus figure right here. I've got some Spinosaurus figures. I've got a Dilophosaurus. Over here are a few Ankylosaurus figures. This one actually has a removable shell that you can take off its back. And then I've got a variety of T-Rexes, Triceratops, and even a Ceratosaurus in the back right over there. My favorite one on this shelf is probably this hybrid T-Rex Dilophosaurus figure. It's bright orange and it's got some gold on it as well. And on the final level of this shelf, I've got more giant herbivore figures from Jurassic World. I've got a huge variety of Stegosaurus figures. I've got a brown, blue, green, and a dark gray blue one. I've got, I think that's an Iguanodon. I've got a Kentrosaurus. I've got a few Parasaurolophuses. I've got more Ankylosauruses. I can't remember what species this one is. And I've also got some Sarcosagus figures. All right, that's it for this shelf. Now let's move over to the left here and tackle this giant shelf right here. Right at the top, I've got a huge Godzilla figure. And this thing was expensive, let me tell you. I've also got a super colossal Atrociraptor figure. I've got a Ceratosaurus skull and another Mosasaurus, but this figure is actually a bit older than the giant one that I showed you over to the right. Right below that, I've got a few more miniature carnivore figures. I've got Atrociraptor figures right here, and I can't remember the name of these species, actually. Right next to those, I've got some Hammond Collection and Amber Collection, Velociraptors, and Baryonyxes, and even a few more, too. I've got tons of the Amber Collection Velociraptors, as you can see right here. Over here on the right, I've got the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. And way over here on the left, I've got the, I think this is the Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus. Got some pretty cool coloring on its back here. On the next level, I've got some more giant Jurassic World figures. Over here, I've got my Spinosaurus Collection. I believe this one is the Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus. I've also got what I think is a custom colored Spinosaurus figure. It's got some really unique coloring. And then of course the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus and a basic Spinosaurus right here. I've also got some more T-Rex figures that are a continuation of the T-Rexes that I showed you earlier. Got this orange T-Rex, extreme battle damage T-Rex, sound surge. I've got some baby T-Rexes right there. Here is a custom colored T-Rex and a and one of the classic T-Rexes, one of my favorites, that you can control by pressing a button on its tail. Next up, I've got a ton more Jurassic World carnivore figures. Starting here on the left are Ceratosaurus figures from Camp Cretaceous and more. I've got a ton of Baryonyx figures. Some of them are battle damage, some of them are extreme chomping, or the other series, there's a ton in there. I've also got quite a few Allosaurus figures of differing colors. You can see that these two are slightly tan with blue tops. I've got a dark green one right there, and I've also got this gray yellow Allosaurus figure in the back. Right next to those are a couple of Metriacanthosaurus figures. I've got a bright red and then a yellow and green one, and some Albertosaurus figures too. One in the back is an extreme battle damage. You can see on its side right there. And they are both a green with some red or orange detailing. And at the bottom layer, here are some of my final super colossal figures. This is Velociraptor Blue, also with the stomach compartment. I've also got an Indominus Rex figure with some giant teeth in its mouth. Here is a custom colored Tyrannosaurus Rex super colossal figure. And this figure is actually colored pretty similarly to the figure right up there, which is pretty cool. And I've actually got another Brachiosaurus figure. That is it for this shelf. Now it's time to move on to the final shelf right here that has some of my rarest figures. So let's start at the top shelf with this giant Mecha Godzilla figure. I don't have that many Godzilla or King Kong figures on display right now, but this is one of the few ones. Right next to that is a super colossal Giganotosaurus with the classic green coloring and the giant spine right on its back. On the top shelf is also this Jeep play set and it actually comes with a rocket on its side. It doesn't have the rockets in it right now. And I've got this classic Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus figure too. On the next shelf, 
like I said, are some of my rarest figures on this one and this one because they are my Jurassic Park figurines. So these are all discontinued and you can't buy them new anymore. And some of them are actually really expensive to buy used on eBay or whatever the case is. So on this shelf, I've got a variety of herbivores and carnivores like the Pachycephalosaurus. I've got a baby dinosaur. I believe this is an Allosaurus. It's actually got battle damage. Triceratops, I've got a big raptor in the back, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Parasaurolophus, and a Utah raptor right on the edge here. On the next shelf, more of some rare figures. This is the Amargo Spinus. I've got the Chasmosaurus. This is a baby Triceratops. I've got a few old Baryonyx figures from Jurassic Park. There's the Spinosaurus and tons more, even these raptors right there as well. And interestingly, Jurassic Park released a Dilophosaurus that did not have the frills. So this is actually one of the first Jurassic Park figurines. As you can see, it is JP02. How cool is that? I've also got a variety of figurines from the Jurassic Park toy line and this Jeep as well. There is Dr. Alan Grant right in the middle there. I've also got some Ian Malcolm figurines as well. And right next to that, I've got one of the old Jurassic Park T-Rex figurines. And this has an all rubber body aside from the arms and the feet at the bottom. And on these bottom two shelves right here, I've got a variety of more dinosaur figures that are not from Jurassic World, but from toy brands like Papo. Got a variety of Tyrannosaurus Rex figures right here. Got a Therizinosaurus. I've got a few Giganotosaurus figures. This one was extremely expensive to get. And even an Indominus Rex figure right here at the end too. On this lower shelf here, I've got more of a variety. Here are a variety of Carnotaurus figures of different colors and sizes. I've also got some Endoraptor figures, which are pretty uncommon for toy brands that are not Jurassic World. There's not that many out there. I've also got a few Spinosaurus figures and some other herbivore figures right here as well. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.